to rescued as 80-foot yacht sinks off Florida coast. Two boaters were rescued from a sinking 80-foot yacht over the weekend after the vessel struck a submerged dredge pipe off the coast of Florida, authorities said. The operator of the motor yacht Atlantis sent a distress call around 11.30 a.m. Saturday stating the vessel struck an object and began taking on water about three miles off St. Augustine Beach, the U.S. Coast Guard USCG said. Marine units with ST. Johns County Fire Rescue rescued to people aboard the sinking yacht. One of the individuals suffered minor injuries and was taken to a local hospital in stable condition, the USCG said. Photos show the stern of the yacht sinking beneath the water and tipping the bow straight toward the sky. Charter boat likely capsized and led up to wreck that killed five off Alaska Coast, Coast Guard. The vessel is believed to have struck a dredge pipe piling that was partially submerged, according to St. John's County Fire Rescue. The Coast Guard thanked St. John's County Fire Rescue, local police and nearby Good Samaritans for helping to coordinate the rescue of the stranded mariners from the sinking yacht. Officials also noted that the luxury yacht activated its properly registered emergency position indicating radio beacon EPIRB to allow rescuers to pinpoint the vessel's location. Eight injured in airboat crash in central Florida, deputies say. With the weather improving and mariners heading out onto the water, it's imperative for everyone to verify the presence of all necessary safety equipment aboard their vessel, said Senior Chief Petty Officer Ricardo Santacana, the command duty officer of Sector Jacksonville. This ensures that responders, as demonstrated in this case, can swiftly locate you and render assistance when an emergency arises. The owner of the Atlantis is expected to arrange salvage, according to USCG officials. The cause of the incident remains under investigation.